Hi boys and girls, my name is Melanie and welcome to Brain Bank. Today I'll be your teacher. Now today we are going to read a really fun book together and this book is called My House. My House. And the author of this book is Amy LG. Now here on the cover of the book we can see a picture of exactly what the title mentions. We see a house. And so this little girl, we can guess that this is her house. She is showing us her house. Very good. Now here we have, again, a picture of a house. My house is the title of the book. And it looks like somebody maybe drew or colored this picture. It's a very nice picture of a house. Can we name some of the parts of the house? What is this right here? Yes, that is called a door. And then we see three, what do we call these? Yes, those are called windows. That's a window. There are three windows that we can see on this house. And what do we call this part of the house? The top over our heads. Yes, that is called a roof. A roof. Very good. And does anyone know what this is called? Sometimes people have these around their houses. Yes, this is called a fence. A fence. Very good. Ah, next we have, this is not a picture of a house. These are pictures of trees. Yes, we see many trees in this picture. So in this book, we are going to show you the steps of making a house. So first, we need trees. The first step is trees. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps that we are going to see to building a house. So are you ready to see them all? Maybe you can help me. So first, here are the trees. Let's read it all together. Here are the trees. Very good. So first, we need trees. Ah, next, these are the same trees we just saw, but it looks like all the leaves and the branches are gone. So this we call logs. The trunk of the tree, without any of the green parts, are just the logs, L-O-G-S. So here are the logs. Can you read that together with me? Here are the logs. And what do you think we need logs when building a house? What do we need those logs for? Yes, we need the wood. We need the wood to build the main structure of the house. Very good. Ah, so now this is another step. Here we see, what's this big vehicle? Is it a car? No. Is it an airplane? No, you're too smart. This is a truck. So now the truck must carry the logs to the location of where we want to build our house. So, very important, here is the truck. Let's read it all together. Here is the truck. Yes, so this is step one, two, three. We need the truck to carry the logs to a different location. Ah, I don't know if you know what this is called. This is a special place where the logs are cut. They are cut into wood that can be used to build the house. We call this place a sawmill. Can everybody say sawmill? Sawmill. Now a saw, you might know, kind of looks like this, it's a tool, and a saw is used, it's very sharp, and it's used for cutting things. It's used for cutting wood. 
So this is a very large, it's kind of like a large saw. The logs go through here and they are cut. And over here we can kind of see some smaller logs that have already been cut. So once again, all together, here is the sawmill. Here is the sawmill. Very good. That is step number four. Okay, step five. What is this? Do these look like the logs anymore? No, they look a little bit different. They have been cut into really nice boards or lumber. Lumber. Can everybody say the word lumber? Lumber. Very good. This is called lumber. We need lumber to build things. And in this case, we need the lumber to build a house. So this is lumber. Let's read it all together. Here is the lumber. Here is the lumber. Very good. That is step number five. Okay, we're almost there. Now it's starting to look like a house, don't you think? So now we see the lumber or the boards and they are being stood up and the builders are taking a hammer and nails and many, many tools and they are building this house. So, ah, here is my house. Let's read it all together. Here is my house. Yes, yeah, so it looks like the house is almost finished, but, but not yet. Would you want to live in that house with your family like this? No, the, the walls aren't there, the roof's not finished, there's no door. Nobody wants to live there, it's not finished yet. But finally, we're on the last step. Ah, yes. Here is a mom, a dad, two children. It looks like this is a family. And it looks like maybe that they live in that house. And that's a beautiful house, don't you think? I think those builders did a really nice job. So let's see what step seven says. Ah, here are the people who live in my house. Let's read it all together, shall we? Here are the people who live in my house. So yes, these are all the people that live in the house. They are a family. F A M I L Y family and they live in this house. Very good. Did you enjoy today's lesson? I did too. And do you have a really nice house that you live in too? Well, that's good. Not everybody has to live in a house. Some people live in apartments or some people live in boats or many different places. You don't have to live in a house to have a great place to live. So once again, thanks for joining me in this story and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.